Yeah, how about we do some vape mail? We're going to use a laptop. Because if this is what I think it is, then uh, maybe we'll do some other stuff with it. Let's see here. Cut it open. Ugh, the box. It is a box. It's a box. From uh, uh, National Data Services, Inc. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's tape under the under the label. Let's get rid of that. That is what I thought it was. All right. C cell coils. C cell coils. Why not? We get an invoice. Invoices are good, right? Invoices. Let's see here. Invoice from Vapor Ecstasy. Nice. Pull this off of Amazon.com. Gave me a 20% off code to use on my next order. Nice. We can do that. We can do that. So, that goes in this. Sorry about the glare. It's just the way it is. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, mine are always long. Anyhow, sit tight. Sit tight. That might calm it down a bit. That's a little better. Right? All right, let's just put the mic back up. Because microphone, that's why. Why not? We're never ready for anything around here. So, yeah, hang around. Hang around somewhere. I don't care where. Just hang around. All right? We're going to take two of these out right now. Why two? One, let's rip one apart. Why not? I bought them. They're mine now. Does it say what I paid for these? No, it doesn't say what I paid for them. Sorry, sorry. Oh, they're they're like gold there and uh, shiny and stuff. Yeah, it's uh, pop one. Alrighty, let's see here. Wonder if that's uh, there's a little ring in there where uh. There's usually a mesh ring in there for spit back and whatnot. Okay. So let's let's rip one. Let's rip one. Take the uh, we'll do it this way a little bit, All right? Take the uh, center pin out. So now there's no more center pin. All right. Center pin's really neat looking. Very shinyish gold right and these are canthal 0.9 ohm and uh, take out the uh, red insulator right and I don't think it'll come out the bottom there's the washer I'm gonna call it a washer because it looks like a washer does the washer come out or not it looks to me like it's pressed down in there ever ever so harshly hmm so there's no way that you're gonna push this out the bottom there's no way you can push that out the top. Hmm. This may take some uh, doing here. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Well, we can we can mess one up a little bit. I know how the regular ones work. Where's my awesome tools? Let's see here. Yeah. The way I do the other one is a little bit uh, different. Hold on one second here. I'm going to click myself again. I know, long videos. You all like long videos, right? Grip shield. Grip shield. Grip shield. And uh, usually don't have that sitting there. There we go. Here we are. 
Oh, it doesn't even fit. The other ones fit. Come on, we'll get there. That don't fit either. Oh Lord, we need one that fits. You know that fits. Sorry, sorry. Calm down. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I'm gonna have nothing that fits this. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope, that hits the ceramic. That ain't gonna work. Where'd the other tips go, man? Where's your other drip tips, yo? Yo, bro. Where'd your drip tips go? Yo, bro. Hmm. Well. Shall we do it this way? Drill bits? What are you taking the drill bits up for? Yeah. Drill bits, because drill life... That fits in there. And that fits right there. And we don't have a hammer. Sure we do. We have a nemesis. Nemesis? Sure. Sorry. No? Well, that sucks all, don't it? Yeah, it didn't even budge. So in other words, they pressed that together with the two. Mm, I don't have those tools in the house. Maybe we'll have to save that for another time. No, no. Oh. Maybe we'll have to save it for another time. I know these split apart. They're pressed together, but I don't see all my tools sitting out. So, that could get difficult and dicey. We were planning on destroying one anyhow, right? Wow, that's that's a uh, good Chineseium right there. It's just uh, coming apart, just falling apart. There we go. A little bit different than the stock ones. All right. So uh, I don't know if I can use this part over because I chopped her up quite a bit right there. You can see it's got that stopper in there. But this part is all intact right now. Does it fit in a regular one? Let's see. As long as we're here, right? Do I have one apart? I have one apart. Right here. This is a. Uh, this is the way the standard ones come apart. They just pull out big old center part. Yeah, I have the. I have the positive pin still on here, but there's a big old center part. This one is slightly different. Will that fit and slide up in there? If it does, I could essentially use this one over. It does. Slides right up in there and keeps sliding. It don't stop. So no, we cannot reuse this one. Because I done fucked up the top of the other one. All right. So, if you take these apart, don't use the tin snips like I did. Alright, that's the inside part. Wow, that's bright. There we go. And, all we have to do from this point is push the little leg in, take something, and gently on the floor gently on the floor. It's empty. See that? It's empty. Gently on the floor. It is gently on the floor. Ah, trials. Trials, I tell you. Let's see here. What we have here, I'm trying to grab a hold of it so you can see it, but there's, it's just too small. It is cotton. Really?
tightly, tightly packed cotton. Uh, is that even cotton? Bro? Bro, this feels like cloth. It is that dense. Um, when it comes apart in two sheets like that, this is not, 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 I'm going to sound like grim, sorry. Uh, yeah, around here somewhere. It's not the same thing as the outside layer of a piece of Japanese cotton. It is more woven, really dense, I mean, it's dense. It'll come apart. It's cotton, but it is uh, almost like a woven cotton. It's that tight. Very tight. And uh, let's see here. There is... You're never going to see this. Not on my cam. Inside that hole right there, which is pretty damn dinky, and that's where your airflow goes through. There's a coil inside that ceramic. The ceramic is on the outside um, encasing the coil. I don't imagine airflow is going to be that great on these. But that's all it is. I mean, that's all it is. Maybe, uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of airflow, and seems how it's an actual coil on uh, the inside of the ceramic and not a coil that's wrapped internally in ceramic like the Crixus, right? The Crixus, the tungsten, is in there, and the ceramic is poured, or however the hell they do it. But uh, they pour it around it so it's completely encased in the ceramic. This is like a ceramic tube with a coil sitting on the inside of it and uh, the legs come out you can see this one leg comes out close to the top and if I flip it around sorry the other leg comes out I know I got too much light whatever the other one comes out towards the bottom all right Well, that's what it is. Let's see here. Let's let's throw one in. Why don't we throw one in? I'm using some uh, Vermilion River e-juice in here because I miss mango tea. Mango tea. Mango tea. And uh, I don't know. They changed. They changed something again. And I didn't put the mic up there. I don't know if you heard all that. So let's grab the damn mic. See, I'm always forgetting the mic now. Here. Um, they changed something over there. I don't know if it was the uh, PG they were using. That's the only thing I know that they changed. But now it's got that milky flavor again. I'm not a fan of the milky flavor. Y'all know I'm not a fan of the milky flavor. Um... Where did I just put it? Right here. Vermilion. I'm, uh, I'm choosing not to even do a review on it. Because I like it. But I don't like the milky flavor that's going on in there right now. At all. How the hell are you supposed to prime this thing? Is uh, If you look at the wick holes, they just go against the metal. They're not really showing me anything I'm gonna guess that I only gonna be able to rock this uh, max VG style As you can see we're not max VG but 50 50 you can see this is the one I took apart those are some really nice big wick holes right and then in the barrel that I took out where's the barrel at here's the barrel has some really nice big two giant wick holes right there but what's the point if your wick holes don't line up with the wick holes on the inside it's just super restrictive if I could turn that I would I don't think I can oh well let's pour some uh, let's pour some down here and uh, 
see what's going on. I'm going to flood this thing out. I know it. I know. Why don't you just put a couple of drops in there and then primer puff the hell out of it. Yeah, I put juice right down the center too. It's a good idea. Let's do it that way. So, we rolled that up in the fake Atlantis deck with the fake 5 mil Atlantis. I don't even I don't even know how this could possibly wick, but this uh, Vermilion River is 50-50 uh, here. At least the one I got. There's bubbles. Let's flood it. Let's make sure it's good and flooded. That should be good and flooded. Yeah. Uh, she is what she is. I got the eye stick set on voltage mode, and uh, one ohm is what it's reading at. One ohm must start at 3.6 because that's what I was rocking the 0.5 head at. Much more restricted vape. Wide open. Uh, feels like that's a little more restrictive. It's between the second and third. But once again, that's all the airflow you're going to get is that little bit. And a normal Atlantis 0.5 ohm head is almost going to fit this thing inside the airflow. All right. All right. First thoughts. Flavor seems slightly muted actually. Slightly. Just slightly. We'll see if that works out. Give it a couple. Give it a couple toots. Let's rock it up to 3.9 volts, which is 15 watts. Ooh. Not seeing any bubbles come up. Which is slightly disturbing. Hmm. I don't even think it says anything on the head as far as... Uh, oh, it does. C-cell. Can't read you. At all. Um, there's too much shine in the gold to see what the heck is going on on there. C-cell I can read. Don't throw me in the trash symbol. The C-E thing, I can read that. Um... One, no, it says 0.9 ohm. I'm trying to read the wattage. I can't read the wattage at all. Sorry. Hmm. 4.3 volts. There's a creaminess coming out in my mango tea. And it's pulling more tea flavor than mango. And uh, the regular Atlantis head is pretty 50-50 on mango and tea. So, Morgan. Hey. Sorry. She's going to bark. I suppose I could pause it for a second, huh? Let's see here. Let's 
Does the pause function even work? I don't know. That's the first time I tried it. She's going to get back up there, though. I know it. All right. It sat for a couple minutes while I screamed at the dog. Let's prime it a couple more times. Vapor production is pretty good. Has it changed ohms? It has not changed ohms. Can't all. Just like it says. I find it really restrictive though. Um, this is where I'm at right now. I did have it totally wide open, but that doesn't matter. Right here is more open than what the uh, head will allow and uh, that little hole right there is slightly more restrictive than that head will allow which means that that little hole is really restrictive I know I got a glare so it's somewhere between the second and third stage it's good so far first head trying it out for you why not Uh, let's see here. 5 volts. Let's go to 5 volts. That's 25 watts. More tea flavor. More tea than mango. Weird. Good vapor. That's five volts though. Five and a half volts? Five and a half volts is uh, 30.2 watts. Hmm. My eye stick's not used to going this high though, so I'm just waiting for it to die. It's still good. It's not drying. Six volts. Six volts. We may have to put this on a new device, huh? Uh, Six point five volts, which is forty two watts. That's a bit warm. Uh, seven volts here. I'll show you. Seven volts, which is uh. 49 watts. Tastes the same, it's just getting hotter. Um, doesn't taste dry at all, just getting hotter. Alright. Well, that's a first look right there at the uh, C cell coils that you can throw in your Atlantis. Alright. C cell replacement coils. Uh, revolution null. Revolution all ceramic material unique structure vapor resso C cell coil no spitting no dry hit self cleaning delivering original aroma of e juice clean pure and constant flavor longer life style C cell technology is invented by s'more got some patent numbers doesn't tell me uh, right on the package though what my wattage I can run at is. Kentall point nine, compatible with Vaporesso tanks, Atlantis tank, and Triton tank. Okay, the five pack. I think they were something like ten or thirteen or fifteen bucks, something like that. Yeah, they are what they are. Vaporesso. Got them off of Amazon. Check them out, I guess. We'll uh, come back at you at another time. I do wish it had some more airflow though. The uh, airflow is lacking. Just. Just to put that out there, I mean, 
the airflow on the bottom of the Atlantis, right? Huge! The airflow of this coil head. Not huge! So if, uh, if that's 3 mil, I don't remember, that's probably close to 2 mil, something like that. That is what it is. Y'all have fun now, because I know I will. I'm going to play with this coil head just a bit.